You're getting thonked as well. I'm really not. Yes, you are. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Hey, everybody, welcome back to. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Hey everybody, welcome hey. back. Five, four, three, two, one. Hey everybody, welcome back to Bible Pump the Nuns. Today we were in Revelation chapter twenty-one, so Mom's gonna give her like twenty-minute spiel. So Stop. let's go. I say we restart again. I say we just we'll continue. Going. Okay, so in Revelation chapter twenty-one, um, we get to the end of the world. Tribulation is over. Armageddon has happened. The millennial reign is over. Satan has been thrown into the lake of fire. And judgment day has come and gone for those who are lost. But for those of us whose names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life, those of us who know God and have a relationship with him, we get to go home today. It's a big deal. Jax, we're going to start with you first. Okay, so uh, in this chapter, we get like a big... Um, like picture and description of like what the new heaven uh, is going to look like. And so uh, this is like, you probably hear a lot of this stuff when people are describing heaven because this is the chapter they get it from. They say streets of gold, um, there is no temple because uh, the Lord is the temple. There's no sun because the Lord is the light. And um, and then they talk about like uh, like how everything is like beautiful. There's like this uh, almost type, this palace type thing, but like it goes far beyond like anything that we have on earth. Obviously, but um, everything uh, is like covered in pure gold. Everything um, is like really valuable materials, or so we consider. It. But because it's so common in heaven, um, it becomes like uh, unimportant and it's invaluable. And so uh, that's because we start to see like what's really valuable in life in heaven, uh, which is the Lord, and that's really what uh, it's about. I love that. That's yeah. some good stuff. Yeah, like, you think about the streets are made of gold. What we wear to be beautiful jewelry here to adorn ourselves and accessorize our outfits to to add value to, to who we are and how we look, it's a street. It's like cement. It's like, hey, you wore cement today. Why are you wearing cement? Um, so I love this picture of home, of the new Jerusalem, the, the new heaven and new earth, because I've been to Jerusalem. I don't know if y'all know, but I've been to Israel <laughs> and I'm kidding because it, everyone knows I will talk about it every chance about. that I get. But in 2019, that was my very first trip. Dusty had gone many times a decade before my first trip. And so, he was excited that it was finally my turn to get to go. And by day two, let's just say I've been crying all the way through it. Um, and so, he knew I either he knew I either loved it or I was having a miserable time because it kind of looks the same <laughs> for me. Yeah. And he said, you know, he asked how I was enjoying it and how the trip was. And I looked at him and I said, you can never come back here without me. By day two of our trip, which is really the first day that you put your feet on the, the soil, um, I knew that I was home. I knew that I loved this place. And so today, when we get to talk about this, I, I, it's like, it makes me more homesick for this place. Um, it says, then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth had passed away. And the sea was no more. I also saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared like a bride adorned for her husband. Then I heard a loud voice from the throne. Look, God's dwelling is with humanity and he will live with them. They will be his peoples and God himself will be with them and will be their God. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes Death will be no more. Grief, crying, and pain will be no more because the previous things have passed away. When I think about Israel, when we got back from my first time on the trip, I, I was sad. I was in a mourning period for a couple of weeks. We were there a couple of weeks, and it took me a couple of weeks just to assimilate to real life again. And I had an ache and a sadness that the only thing I can compare it to is like being homesick for this place. And so if I can feel that way, this new heaven, this new Jerusalem, 
it's it's supposed to be our home. If I can feel that way about the earthly Jerusalem today, it's imperfect, it's worldly, it has sin, it's not this perfect place, but there's a holiness and a specialness to it, I promise. Um, I can only imagine the longing and the belonging that I will feel for the new Jerusalem. This place that we've spent our whole lives wandering and searching for, when we get to it, it's like we're home. Um, Abraham understands this. In Hebrews chapter 11, verse 10, it tells us he is looking forward to this city that has foundations, whose architect and builder is God. And so while it may be strange, I'm strange, that I miss this place, I feel homesick for a place that I only go to two weeks at a time every other year. Um, when I see other believers and how they long for this, we are aliens in this world. This place we have spent our lives wandering and searching for, we've been aliens. We're not supposed to belong here. And we have been homesick for so long that when we get to get there, when we get to get to heaven, it's like we're going to find ourselves. We're going to find who we are. We're going to be home. And so what a celebration today is. Like, this is the ultimate. We really are on the other side of all the bad stuff, all the terrible things. And we get to be excited for our future. And the best part of all, it's not the streets of gold. It's not the pearly gates. It's not all the amazing jewels around us. But the best part of all is that God will dwell with us there, just like he always planned, just like he was in the garden with Adam and Eve. Our sin messed up the whole plan. We will get to dwell with him forever and ever for all eternity. And that's worth celebrating. All right, friends, one more chapter. We can do this. I'm so excited. Um, Revelation's been a journey. We'll say that. Thanks. We'll Bye. see you Monday.